Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA. Hi, this is Cooking APA. As you can see from here, APA has some chicken, deep fried ginger, uh, julian ginger, and also shi uh, soaked shiitake mushroom, and some, uh, this is a homemade Chinese rice wine, okay? Homemade yellow uh, rice wine. So I'm going to make a rice wine ginger chicken. Okay, this is a very common dish you can find in Malaysia, uh, especially for Chinese family. If you don't have a home, cannot find a homemade uh, yellow rice wine, you can use Saoxing wine. Um, usually it's not difficult for us to find it here. Mm, you can try and ask around in the, your, go to any uh, wet market and ask the people selling, uh, selling those sauces there. Not difficult to find. So um, I have one Thai and two chicken wing here and I have some ginger cut into thin slices and then um, deep fry. For this particular dish, actually you don't have to do like what I did here where I actually deep fry the ginger. Uh, but today I feel like eating some fried ginger so I actually deep fry. Then of course we have the soaked shiitake mushroom, soaked usually about one hour until it is softened and uh, uh, getting bigger. Okay, so uh, it's very simple and uh, let's start cooking. Okay, if you're using a standard steel pot wok like APA, you always add oil in uh, cold wok, then only you raise the heat. Okay, this will help it to uh, reduce the sticking problem. Uh, for those who doesn't know how to uh, fry your uh, julienne ginger, you just uh, julienne your ginger and then after that uh, use a medium heated oil to fry it slowly until it is golden brown and crispy like this. So first of all we want to saute our mushroom. The mushrooms will actually become extremely flavorful once you uh, let it have some direct contact with oil it will be very very fragrant oh yes i can immediately smell all my mushrooms these are shiitake mushrooms uh, can you use fresh mushroom for this particular dish uh, not so suitable i feel a dried shiitake mushroom is it's a lot more suitable, okay? Of course, you have to uh, soak it until it is softened under room temperature water. Okay, then we can put in the ch chicken. We can use a bit of light soy sauce. You want to coat the chicken with some nice thin layer of uh, light soya sauce. By the way, I'm still on high heat here, right? Okay, now we can put in our from deep fried julienne ginger. I'm going to finish eating all my ginger today. Um, actually, the amount of ginger you are seeing here is probably about 5, five cm. It's not a lot. I will have used a lot more uh, usually, but because today I only have 5 cm left. <laughs> I didn't realize my, I'm running out of ginger because I just came back from um, a trip. Okay? Right? Now we can add in the yellow rice wine. Here I have some leftover from the first bottle then this is my second bottle Ooh. I'm going to do 80-20 meaning 80% uh, the yellow rice wine with some 20% water wow very flavorful smells so ar aromatic uh, let me get some hot water can't find anything to put in hot water. Oh, okay. 
You can also use 50-50 or 100% yellow rice wine. Totally up to you. Okay, it depends on your personal preference. I'm going to mix about 20% water. Try to ask around. Uh, maybe ask your parents, ask your grandparents where to find a good uh, homemade uh, Chinese rice wine. Yeah? Because you can't find those in supermarket. Of course, if you can't find the homemade ones, just use the normal uh, Saoxing wine will do. Okay, I'm going to bring this to a boil. We come back shortly. Okay, it is now boiling. I'm going to close this with a lid. Tune down <coughs> to a medium, uh, medium fire and let it simmer for about minimum 20 minutes. Then it should be ready by then. And we do some final seasoning. Okay, let's come back after this. All right, my uh, my chicken has been simmering under medium heat for the past twenty minutes. <coughs> let's go. Mmm, this is super fragrant. So fragrant. Uh, do not worry about the alcohol because uh, after it is cooked, all the alcohol will be evaporated, leaving all the natural sweetness. And for Chinese rice wine, after it is cooked, it is actually becoming sweet, all right? So you don't have to uh, put in any sugar. Uh, all you need to do is just to season it with some salt, which is uh, more than enough. Actually, some people, some uh, elderly Chinese people, when they cook this particular dish, they don't, they don't even put salt. So anyway, it's totally up to you. Okay, it is now done. Let me just show you how I serve this particular dish. Okay, so here's my uh, ginger and yellow Chinese rice wine chicken. Uh, I hope you like my video. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up Our YouTube channel. Some people, they say in their country, they cannot find Chinese rice wine and they ask me whether they can use dry sherry or not. Appa is not very sure because Appa never used dry sherry before, so I don't know how it re really tastes. Okay, so I can't answer that. Sorry, yeah. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoy your dinner with your family. Bye-bye.